I'm going to try to finish up this scene in this video by adding some more materials and um, a ground to this. All right, so uh, if we have a look here, we can see uh, what we've got so far. So I'm going to select the top of the coffin there. I'm going to go into edit mode, select it all, and just U and Smart UV Project. And then I'll come over to the materials. And I'm going to use the wagon top for that. This material here, not this one, because this one has the lines in it. That's right. I'm just going to go through it all. Not that. Smart UV Project does a decent enough job. Okay, so very quickly, you know, that looks all right. So select that piece. here and we'll choose the wood wagon and I'm gonna make another copy of this and I'm gonna call this wood handle I'm gonna actually smart UV project that as well and let's come over to shading and for this guy I'm just going to adjust the colors here. I want a lighter wood. I'm going to go for that. Okay. I'm going to use wood handle on this as well. And I'm just going to use this smart UV project. It's going to look just fine. I hope, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. This is going to be the black metal. This, I'm thinking to use the black metal. And this, we're going to start with the black metal. And I do like that. I do that. But I think I'm going to make a copy of this and try... Uh, this metal too. For this all I want to do is change the base color here and make it lighter. Now you could spend a lot of time or some time um, adjusting this to make it dirty and scratches and all that. I'm not going to do that here. Let's go in here and let's smart UV project this as well. And just use wood handle. Let's make these, well, that's the nail there. Let's use that. But let's try this with metal too. Let's come over to the lantern here. here and let's work on the glass okay I'm going to use this um, it's pretty much the standard glass that I usually use 
All right, it's going to have a couple of mixed shaders, the transparent there, and some stuff above. So let's just lay down that stuff. Let's click on the glass, go new. I'm going to change this one to a mix shader. I'm going to need another one. I'll take this one, copy it down here, and change this one to transparent. Plug that into there. And this one is going to come into there. Fresnel, transparent, and glossy. Let's copy this. Shift S. Input Fresnel. That's going to go into here. I'll use the default. Uh, what about another transparent? So I might as well copy that one. And this one's going to be glossy. I'm going to change this to sharp. I think I want this at 0 0.2. Plug that into here. Okay, you see I've got an HDR image. I'm seeing some reflections there. Okie doke. Fresnel, transparent, glossy, sharp, 0 0.2. And then I'm going to use a light path with a couple of uh, math nodes there. Right, and that's going to go into there. So let's just copy that one up here. I'm going to go Control Spacebar to maximize that. And let's change this to Input Light Path. And I'm going to use, um, what did I say? Math. And add his shadow ray into there. I need another one of these. Diffuse ray into there and this one into here, I believe. <clears throat> Let's double check that. Shadow ray to there, that one 0 0.5, which is the default, anyhow 0 0.5. some light from this lantern here select that zoom right in I'm gonna go shift s cursor selected I'm gonna hide that glass and let's get this stuff closed up here all right I'll be here I'm gonna go shift a bring the light point light all right I got it in the right collection there it is point light and I am going to make sure we can move it I'm gonna move it down to here as if that would be where the candle would be I probably should be modeling the candle in a flame but we'll try it this way for now I'm gonna click use nodes lay down the material so I got an emission material on there. Probably won't be overly bright, but you can see that and it's white. All right, let's come back here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy it, shift S, and I'm gonna change this to black body. Black body is uh, sort of a physics-y concept that will use the temperature to determine the intensity and the color. All right, so I'm going to take this color and I'm going to plug it into a mission. If I leave it at temperature of 1500 Kelvin, and a strength of one for now, let's just have a look at that. All right, you see this. If I was to change this to say 3000, you could simulate like fluorescent lights. 
so you can look up on the internet the different temperatures I'll leave this at 1500 and I'm gonna put the, the strength here too I'm gonna to try three <clears throat> So we got the point light in there. I'm going to um, alternate to bring back the glass. And there is another thing I want to do with the glass. Right now, Blender will treat this as a solid piece of glass. All right. Um, I'm going to come to the modifiers, and I've got subdivision surface on. I'm going to add solidify. I'm just going to leave it at the default. So now I've told it that I want it to be like this thick rather than the whole thing. You may not see an appreciable difference, but this is what I've got. All right. I'm going to leave it like that for the time being. Let's go back to modeling. Let's save. The only other thing I really want to do, other than possibly adjusting the lighting, is some kind of a ground plane. I'm going to hide this stuff again. So I'm going to uh, go Shift C to bring the 3D cursor back to there. Shift A, mesh plane. There is my ground plane, S10. It's more what I was hoping for. Now, I may need it even bigger than that. I'm just going to scale it like that. I'm probably going to render from around there. Okay. Let's go in and subdivide 12. Let's subdivide four times that maybe more right? let's just start with uh, that okay so where did that go let's uh, let's create a new collection we'll call this sand and let's move this to the sand there it is Okay. All right, back to shading. New material. Okay. Yeah, all righty. Okay, so for the sand, I'm basically gonna be using a wave texture and a noise texture to create sort of like desert sand. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have to start with my basic colors. Mix shader with diffuse and a little bit of glossy. Okay, so let's uh, go control plus. A diffuse and a glossy. Sandish color. Glossy. Not very much glossy though. Actually, maybe 0 0.5 is okay, but I'll just switch that one. Switch this to 0 0.05. Very little glossy. Okay. And that's going to obviously go on the surface. And then I'm going to displace with a wave and the noise texture. So here I've got a math multiply node and an RGB multiply. So let's get that going here. Let's just take this one and shift down. Okay, converter math. And we're going to switch this to multiply. I'll copy that one over here and shift S. Uh, what am I doing? mix RGB on multiply that's gonna go into there and that's gonna go into there okay I'm gonna have a small value for this 
And now we're gonna get the wave texture going. Let's get you the plus. All right, so. Start to see something there. Let's go up in our values 20, 10, 10, and 2. 10, 10, 2. Okay, see that? We start to get what looks a little bit like that kind of stuff. Now, um, I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to go you unwrap and wait and hope. All right, let's save. Take this control T to put the mapping nodes down. And texture coordinate and do that. And now I can move this around. You know, I can rotate around in lots of different ways. Okay. Let's check this out. Whatever you want for these values. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's add a little bit more to this. And then we'll look at the scale of everything. Okay, so I'm going to take the... Uh, I'm going to take that one and bring it down and make this a noise texture. And I'm going to use the same stuff here. And I'm going to do a couple more things here. This one, I'm going to use a hue saturation. Change the saturation to zero. Check something, make sure that goes into color. In fact, is one. And this is going to be a brightness contrast. Color to color. I set the contrast negative. Something like that. And that's going to go into the second slot there. should give us some sand particles here but we need to adjust to that. the scale of the noise texture I've got it on 20 now watch this I don't know how well you can see this anyhow I'm gonna try a thousand okay uh, we should also look at the detail oh, ten, I gotta set it 10 anyhow I'm gonna go for 2,000 before we do anything else. Let's go back to modeling. Look through the camera. Let's try this. <clears throat> I'm not sure everything is on the ground. I might pull sand up a little bit so stuff is a little bit embedded. Think about this. this point, I think I'm ready to give a little test render to this thing. 
So let's see what I got. I got 250 there. That's 75% there. Mm, these things are still pretty much default. Make sure denoising is on. That's that would be helpful. I'm going to go ahead and give a test render. All right. Well, here's what it looks like so far. Some aspects are looking very nice. Um, I think maybe the noise texture here needs some less detail. <laughs> Play with the colors. Um, let's uh, let's come back here. And we're on here. Let's try two. Let's see what that looks like. with this and if we pull the scale up like that we'll do that kind of thing maybe a little bit of this okay you know let's go back to modeling save and let's have a look Okay, you can combine more uh, textures as well. I think we'll just uh, we'll get ready to do our final render and just call it call it quits. I just want to have a quick look at um, the shading on this. Let's get out of the camera view. And have a look at yeah, yeah. I know this is going to make it look a little thick, but I'm thinking of a shine on this stuff. Even on this. We'll try it. We'll try one like that. We'll just make it all 0 0.35 for this kind of stuff. And this is the wagon one. That's already got it. So, uh, and this one too. so much you could do uh, I just don't have the, 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 the time uh, or the patience to to spend too much time on on this uh, because I, I just want to model for you guys and uh, you could spend all the time putting uh, gradients and grass and uh, height maps and all this kind of cool stuff um, and I don't know a lot about that but just put you put the time into it it's all doable 
and better materials and all that. Um, and as you can see, I got substance painter down here. We'll get into that. I'm just having fun with procedurals right now. The, my main goal is to model. That's what I really enjoy. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, do uh, let's bump this up to 350. Still not that that big. I don't need huge huge renders really. I'm gonna go for 85%. And, um, you know, I could do this, I suppose. I don't know if that would make, it make much of a difference for me. Uh, and I'm gonna take this, and let's make sure I'm in global. I'm just gonna rotate that down like that. Okay, I probably should have a candle in there, but uh, let's, let's try it like this. All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, here's what it looks like. Okay, oh, I don't know how realistic this looks like. Looks a little bit more like plaster, which would be good <laughs> to use it for that, but I think it looks nice. That was a lot of fun. Or I'm sorry I didn't do the candle there, but like I say, this is mostly for modeling, and uh, there's my little wagon scene. All right, super. Thanks a lot for watching, and hope to see you in the next one.